Let's scale our body to match the size of the experimental round figures. Go to the Design tab, highlight Surface, and click Create Coordinate System. Go back to Surface, click Pool, and then change the scale body. We'll use the coordinate system as our anchor point, and then spacebar 0.75 for the scaling. Go ahead and hit escape, choose the plane tool, and we'll create planes at this coordinate system as well. We won't need all of these, so we can go ahead and delete these planes using control select. Now we need a plane in front and in back, so we'll go ahead and move this plane using the move tool and just move it in the minus x direction. Go to sketch mode and we'll sketch on this front face first. Plan view, and then we're going to draw a rectangle. And zoom in, and just draw a 4 by 1. Switch to the Move tool. Double click to grab the entire rectangle, and we're going to move it 7 millimeters. Go ahead and center it, and then do the same thing on the other side. This will give us the 15 millimeters between the two supports. Click project. And control select the two surfaces. You'll see this has imprinted them on our rack figure. Now we're going to do similar on the back side, so go to sketch mode, plan view, zoom in, and create a rectangle. This one will be one by three. Move, and we're going to just center it on this axis. And then center it vertically. Go ahead and project it as well. And now we no longer need these, so we can go ahead and click S, next slide. And then Rada. So go ahead and exit out of space claim, and make sure you get the green 